Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the action for the Hamilton Convention Center, live in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Presented to you by Three Lines Promotions. Sponsored by The Jump Off, Remax Center, Tip Top Towing, and Delcon Electrical Power and Lighting. Tonight's next attraction, scheduled for eight rounds in the Cruiser Weight Division, all being sanctioned by the Ontario Athletic Commission, the Commissioner Luke Colton. Three judges scoring the bout at ringside. Floyd Porter, Alan Davis, and Jasper Kujaski. And the third man inside the ring at the sound of the bell, referee Mark Simmons. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the introductions. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, where the red trunks with red trimming. He officially tipped the scales at an even 195 pounds even. His professional record, an impressive one. 10 victories, nine wins by way of knockout, and three defeats he is a two-time title challenger. He's the funny pride of Zolnoki Hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Pinsies. And fighting out of the red corner where the solid black trunks with gold lettering. He officially tipped the scales at already 194.7 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. Eight fights, eight victories, all by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the NABA Canadian Cruiserweight Champion. The Farty Pride of Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada, Ryan the Bruiser Rosicky. And a referee to give the instructions, Mark Simmons. Boxers, we went over the instructions in the dress room. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Mark Simmons, the referee who draws this one. Ryan Rosicky, Laszlo Penzis. We've been told Sean Miller is in attendance as well. The 19-4-1 cruiserweight from Troy, New York, who's been sniffing around a potential fight with Ryan Rosicky. We'll see how that unfolds as this goes along. But Rosicky already testing with that left jab. Now up over the top with the right hand comes Penzis. Rosicky, perhaps the most popular athlete to come out of Cape Breton Island since Al McKinnis stepped to the National Hockey League from Inverness. Rosicky started it upstairs, then went to the body, protected well as Penzis stepped in. Penzis trying to force his way through with that left jab. Rosicky. He'll look like he has ice water in his veins, a very calm fighter, even under duress. Penzis. Stepping through with that left hand. Staying to the outside. Rizicki trying to back him away. Penzis. Working that left hand up top. Rizicki staying strong with the guard. Right hand to the body. Rizicki just picking his way forward. Now Rizicki starting to open up. Coming back over the top was Penzis. Again, Sean Miller in the audience tonight watching this fight. We know an NABA Canadian Cruiserweight Championship defense is on its way for Ryan Rizicki. We just don't know the challenger as of yet. Penzis, though, certainly giving Rizicki everything he can handle in this first round. His guard is strong, and he's trying to batter his way through Rizicki's. Lefts and rights, hard to tell if they're having much effect, but certainly scoring for himself. Rizicki pushing Penzis back. Penzis over the top. That right hand was solid. Rizicki calling him on. Oh, now Rizicki opens up with that left hand. He wants Penzis to fire. And Rizicki strides through it. To the body he goes. 
Riziki looking to open up. Riziki steps back with that left hand. Now the right to the body, and Pence is down to a knee. Ryan riziki has been opened up. Looks like over the left eye. Pence is back to his feet. He wants to stay in. Penza swings, Riziki follows, and that one just a slip down from Laszlo Penzis. 10 seconds left in the first round. Riziki stepping into the body. in is Ryan Rizicki. Looking to put pressure on immediately. Caught him over the top with the right. Oh, the right hand of Rizicki. That one upstairs. Penzis will drop to a knee. Penzis up. Took his time. Again, Mark Simmons very thorough, making sure he can continue. Penzis steps in. Has the combination over the top, but not a lot behind it. Riziki stalking his way forward. Penzis circling his way off the ropes, now back straight in front. Oh, to the body with that right hand. Left jab up over the top. Riziki again backing him towards the corner. Riziki looked to set the left. Penzis was able to get out of the way. Penzis clinches. Referee Simmons separates. And again, the jab of Ryan Riziki. Diving in that time is Penzis. Penzis trying to push that left hand through the guard. Riziki out of the way. Hands down from Riziki. Looking to set him up. Penzis trying to continue around the outside. Riziki has him cut off to the ropes. Riziki slides out of the way. Ducks under the swing of Penzis. Pushes him back. Oh, Riziki up top with the right hand. And Penzis back to a knee. Penzis to a count of eight before he's up. He wants to stay in. And he comes out swinging. Penzis over the top. Does he have much left in the tank, though? Oh, fires up top. Riziki let him. Riziki calling him on. Oh, and then the right hand left over the top. Down goes Penzis. Up to a count of six. Two, eight, nine. It's over. Bruiser goes to nine and zero. Oh.
watching along on Cape Breton Island and in Nova Scotia itself was his biggest career win. He may be next. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for both of our athletes in the ring. Referee Mark Simmons goes to the count of 10. The official time comes to you at two minutes and 31 seconds into round number two. For your winner by TKO, the Farty Pride of Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada, Ryan the Bruiser Rosicki. Ryan Rosicki officially runs the record to 9 and 0. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Center 200 Arena in beautiful Sydney, Nova Scotia, welcome to the main event of the evening. I'll be presented to you by Three Lines Promotions. Tonight's World Championship attraction is scheduled for 10 rounds for the vacant WBC International Silver Cruiserweight Championship. Sponsored by Health City Cayman Islands, Ziggy Pub and 902 Advertising, all be sanctioned by the Nova Scotia Combat Sports Authority. The Chairman, Mickey McDonald, and Ringside Supervisor, Danny Millian. Also sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, the WBC President, Mauricio Suleiman, and WBC Supervisor with us here tonight, Mr. William Mudu. The three judges scoring the bounce at ringside are Robert McAvoy, Wayne Green, and Don Robinson. And the third man inside the ring at the sound of the bell, our championship veteran referee, Hubert Earl. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance, and the millions of viewers watching around the world, Sydney, Nova Scotia, let me hear you make some noise. The stage is set, and our Lions are ready. Are you all ready for the battle tonight? Let's get it on. Introducing to you first, Running out of the blue corner, he officially took the scale at 193 pounds even. In 24 pounds, his professional record, an outstanding one. 18 victories, seven wins by way of knockout, four defeats, and one draw. Here's the former WBF North American lightweight heavyweight champion, the fighting pride of Troy, New York, USA, Sean Killer! And across the ring, running out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with gold. He officially took the scales at 190 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. All knockouts, nine victories. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the reigning NABA Canadian Cruiserweight Champion. And tonight, fights for another title. The party pride of Sydney, Nova Scotia, and also representing Cape Breton Island, Brian Bruiser And a referee to give the final instructions, Hubert Earl.
Rosicky. Boxers, we went over the instructions from the dress room. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. The shorts are good. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. There's been a symmetry that's happened between Cape Breton and Hamilton. Cape Breton's son has become one of Hamilton's own. And we're proud to have such a great audience watching along tonight out in Nova Scotia. Right, hey. As we start the fight, Riziki in the white trimmed with black, Pliev in the red trimmed with black. Height and reach advantage, the way of Ryan Riziki, and he'll dig to the body. Pliev tries to come over the top. Riziki with that high, heavy guard. Starting to back Pliev down a little bit. The right hand caught him up high. Left hook, oh, Pliev, nice combination, but Riziki blocked the majority. Oh, Pliev showing fast hands, comes up top with the right. Left answering as well, but Riziki blocking most of it. Pliev looking to put volume on early, Fitz. Yes. Um. <clears throat> oh, to the body, digging is Riziki. And again. Both fighters have come out very strong at this point and they're throwing some great shots. Liam trying to back Riziki up with that straight left. Riziki just out of the way. Both men just squared off in the center of the ring. Riziki's face a little bit reddened, but Pliev has not found home with a lot of it. Riziki's done a nice job blocking him away. Little exchange there in the center. Yeah. To the body again, and you can hear those shots digging. And Fitz, this has been the hallmark of Riziki, to the body and then finding his way up top. Yes, it's been, uh, it's been a great fight so far. You know, um, Pliev has been ripping some shots down on Rosicky. Rosicky has been blocking those shots right now and he's coming back with some jab of his own, dictating what's going on. But Rosicky needs to make sure he's got to keep moving his head. Got a little bit of that right there, head movement from Rosicky. Now to the body again with that right hook. And again. Stinging away at Pliev. Oh, and up top he staggered him. It was the left hook that time. Riziki slides out of the way. The bruiser back to the body off the left. Pliev trying to work his way through, right hand, a second. And back to the body goes Riziki. Very calm despite the pressure Pliev has shown. Both these guys are fighting right inside the box. They're not moving, they're not giving or taking. They're staying right there and they're fighting. 10 oh, seconds left in the right first round. By Pliev. Oh, Pliev oh. hit him hard. He caught him in a beautiful uppercut. Ruzicki right up to Zicky, but right now, looking to extend a little bit of momentum off the end of the first round. Riziki coming out with a little bit more volume. 
Pliev fast showing fast hands, but Rizicki in there to trade, came up with the left. Pliev oh, caught him with shit. a couple of rights. Oh, Pliev opening up. Uh, Rizicki, I believe, will, like I said, have to start moving his head because he's sitting in the position where he shouldn't be. Pliev. Rizicki's been opened up, Fitz. <laughs> but now starting to fire back. Started to the body and then came up top and again. Both men have great power in their punches. Ruzicki is going to have to start moving his head. Oh, Ryan Ruzicki! Yeah. Left hook! Drop Pliev! Wow. Third is the name. Then Bola did the chain. One punch. What a watch. Because he played James. Pliev's going to stay in. Ruzicki smells blood in the water. Uppercut lands. Looping right. Pliev's gonna oh, have to do something. Oh. Shit. He's cut. Oh. Beautiful fight. Pliev coming back with a combo. Rosicki has a cut open over, over his eye. It's not in a good position. Oh. Now teeing oh. off. Rosicki uppercut. Straight left landed. Right hook landed. But Pliev, left hook. Kiev is fighting back. Ruzicki can't get careless. He can't get careless. Body head. <clears throat> Ruzicki battering him. To the body again. Ruzicki all over him in the corner. Kiev has to fire it back. Dropped him again. Kiev <laughs> back to his feet.
fires a big round of applause. Our referee, Mark Simmons, stops his contest. The official time comes to you. Two minutes, 19 seconds into round number two. Still undefeated, and your winner by TKO from Sydney, Nova Scotia, Ryan Kofuze Rosicki. From the electrifying Center 200 Arena in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Welcome to the Valentine's Massacre. This is the main event of the evening. 10 rounds for the WBC International Silver Cruiserweight Championship. Brought to you courtesy of Three Lions Promotions and sponsored to you by Harborview Inn and Suites, Health City Cayman Islands, and Governor's Pub and Eatery. Tonight's main attraction is sanctioned by the Nova Scotia Boxing Authority, the Chairman Mickey McDonald, Commissioners Paul Kerrigan, Barry Bernard, and Danny McMillan. Also sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, the WBC President Malicia Suleiman, WBC Supervisor in attendance, William Boudou. Our ringside positions tonight are Dr. Erica Geyser and Dr. Jason Osborne. The three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Robert McAvoy, Don Robinson, and Paul Dorian. And the third man inside the ring of the sound of the bell, our championship referee, Nova Scotia 2011 inductee, Hubert Earl. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Nova Scotia! Two diamonds. One ring tonight who will shine the brightest. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to roll! <laughs> Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red. He officially weighed in at 195.8 pounds. Tonight, he steps into the ring with 13 professional completed contests, a record consisting of nine victories, four big wins by way of knockout, two defeats and two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, making his first title appearance and fighting for the first time here in Canada, hailing from the Czech Republic, please welcome Vladimir Rezacek. And across the ring tonight, hunting out of the red corner, wearing black with white, he officially weighed in at 198.6 pounds. Tonight, he enters the ring unblemished in 11 professional contests, 11 bouts, 11 victories, 11 big knockouts, no defeats. He is the reigning, the defending, WBC Silver Cruiserweight Champion, the son of Cape Breton Island, the party pride of Sydney, Nova Scotia, Ryan, the Bruiser, Rosicky. Ladies and gentlemen, we went over the rules of professional. You obey my commands at all times, and you protect yourselves at all times. Good luck, touch him up. All right, main event of the evening. Ryan Rezicki versus Vladimir Reznicek for the WBC International Silver Cruiserweight Championship. Rezicki has stopped every one of his opponents in three rounds or less. Reznicek is in for one heck of a fight. You may not be able to hear me very well in here during this fight because this crowd is wild. Resnicek is a pretty polished boxer. Was defeating number 40 ranked Basil Dakar 
before suffering a knockdown in the final round of their contest for the Czech National Championship. Rizicki is recovering from a pretty bad laceration and orbital bone break from his last fight with Ketek Pliev. And away the fans go again. Zicky digging to the body, what he's known for, what put down Sean Miller last year in this very venue. Rizicki already showing a few new wrinkles to his game, moving his head a little bit better than he used to, not taking unnecessary shots. He's got that scar tissue over his left eye. Expect Reznicek to target that all night long. Resnicek firing back after those body shots. Getting in a nice jab. Resnicek's here to fight. But those, those body shots are going to pay dividends down the road. If Rizicki needs the rounds. Remember, nobody's made it past three rounds with Ryan Rizicki in his 11 fights as a professional. Good work by Reznicek here in the opening round. And a big body shot by the bruiser. This is already a more polished Rizicki than we saw against Pliev back in Hamilton. Not getting hit nearly as much. 10 seconds round. 10 seconds left in this round. Good shots from both men to finish the round. Division. WBC International Silver Cruiserweight Championship on the line. And a boy, Ryan. Both men working behind the jab, feeling each other out. Good body shot by Rosicki, Lance Flush. And Reznicek comes firing back. Very similar Reznicek to what we saw against Vasil Dukar for the Czech Championship. Back and forth. Good right hand from Rizicki. Good shot, Lance by Reznicek and the crowd responds. Good shot by Reznicek again, finding his timing. Good left hook. 
Good left hook for Ruzicki. And another. Ruzicki finding his group. And the crowd roars with appreciation. As he blasts away. Big right hand. Resnicek can take a punch there. It will be tough for Resnicek to get a decision on the scorecards. Every time Rizicki throws a punch, the crowd roars their approval. Big right hand by Resnicek. Rizicki gets back behind the jab. He's leaking a bit from the nose. Good left hand, good right hand. Comes right back from Resnicek. Another right hand by Resnicek. Not seeming to phase the bruiser from Cape Breton Island. Big body shots land. Big right hand, stuns Resnicek. And he goes firing back. Another right. Resnicek is in trouble. He's in the corner. Round three of ten here, Rizicki comes storming out of the corner. Coming on like a nor'easter here in the third round. This is the round that every single foe has fallen by. Ken Rosnicek, Reznicek, sorry, be the exception. Big body shot lands for Rizicki. Resnicek finding a hole for his shots too. Good shot lands from Resnicek. And Rizicki fires back. Both men are throwing a tremendous amount of punches. Big body shot by Rosicki.
our referee, Hubert Earl, steps in and waves the contest to his bout. The official time comes to you. One minute, 44 seconds. Round number three for your winner by TKO and Steel for Rain, WBC International Cruiserweight Champion, the son of Hank Richard, Ryan the All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the champ is in the ring at this time. At this time, but the CNBC will be presenting an award to add to your hardware for Ryan Rizicki. This certificate gives Ryan an honorary lifetime membership with the Canadian National Boxing Authority. I'll come across it for you, Ryan. Okay. And this certificate is uh, a letter from authorization from Mr. Daniel Duran, president of the Canadian National Boxing Authority. We have a plaque ready for Ryan, and we recognize him, a unanimous decision to become our 2019 Boxer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the champ, Ryan Rosicki. Congratulations on your win tonight. Uh, you had an opponent who came in and wanting to fight, but you made it happen. Third round, you did it. Uh, first, uh, where's the translator? Hey, uh, I just want to say thank you to, to Vladimir for coming here. He's, he's very tough, very, very tough. He, he hit her, he hurt me a couple of times, and just a thank you. And I wish him all the best in his future. And then I, I want to say thanks to uh, Three Lions Promotions for, for bringing the fight to Cape Breton and putting on an awesome fight card in Center 200. Uh, I want to thank all my sponsors. I, I can't remember them all right now because that guy hit pretty hard. Uh, I want to thank my coach for putting me through hell in training camp, but it was all worth it. Uh, so thank, thank you to everybody for, for being here and supporting. This means everything. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without you. And uh, we're just going to keep climbing the ladder one step at a time. Where do you go from here? And now that you're moved up in the WBC rankings, what, what goes through your mind at this moment and this time? Uh, just get back to the drawing board, start working on not getting hit by so many right hands, and fight the next guy in front of me. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your WBC International Silver Cruiserweight Champion, the Bruiser, Ryan Rose. Okay.